Here you can see the Swiss with their Darth Vader helmets unloading a train in 1918, just as they did so in 1945, unloading Nazi gold, stolen art collections, the owners murdered, etc. They did it once in 1945 and never stopped doing so. And do you think that was their first try? No, they have been doing so for nearly a thousand years. Octagon's thousand year Reich. Reich. It means the Empire. My guess is they're unloading the belongings of the Tsars, who were murdered just the year before during the October Revolution in Russia of 1917. Swissy had the whole family wiped out, children and all, because the old world's order of the feudal aristocracy and vertical rule had to be replaced by the new nobility system of the parliamentary new world order horizontal rule by octagon of the Knights Templars, for which we had two world wars for their internal quarrel. See my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. The Jews didn't kill the Tsars, Swissy did in spite of the fact that communism might have started by the Jews, like Karl Marx and others. But it got quickly infiltrated by the nobility again, who saw their feudal power fading away by the 19th century of European nationalisms, of all the different, wanting, of all the different peoples wanting to rule themselves instead of by some king, duke or emperor. The real original communism in its essence must be seen therefore as a way to break loose from Pharaoh's nobility, feudal parasites, just as Zionism had this very same national objective and has nothing to do with some Palestinians. And then the whole turmoil got even more complicated as also the Swiss New World Order Freemason Templars saw their chance by using the call for freedom from all the various nations for their own purpose of replacing the old world order by their new system. And this is where Lenin said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. Well, who does he refer to with ourselves? Well, the Swiss, of course as he spent 20 years of his life in Switzerland, where the political Templar wing trained him, the Freemasons, of course, and where he also learned this uh, saying, like, um, the, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. And then Swissy sent him in a sealed train as diplomatic cargo through Germany to Moscow, where Swiss Mr. Lenin unleashed the so-called Red Terror on the defenseless Russian people, murdering mostly farmers and army deserters. Very complicated situation, you see. A civil war with a hidden war within, plus another hidden war within that hidden war. And mind you, this is the first time the unspeakable gets revealed. And they will kill me for it in the end. Swissy has already promised me it won't be an easy death applying the so-called prolongated process of departing. Roughly speaking, three parties. The old world order feudal nobility to the new world order horizontal aristocratic system and three, the people's self-governing nationalisms. The old world order and the people lost. The new world order of the Swiss Templars won and oceans of blood spilled. With Switzerland getting richer and richer with cargoes of looted goods for the victors coming in every day. The old world order monarchs who didn't oppose the new rule could stay in a thing called a constitutional monarchy like in England, Belgium, etc. Same destiny for German nationalism, which got equally infiltrated by the Nazi Templar New World Order, 
where the SR Sturmabteilung, the brown shirts, was a workers' movement by the people, which got infiltrated by the Freemason Templar Hitler and his gang, who murdered the entire leading part of the Sturmabteilung SR in 1934 or 1935, and replaced them by the elitist SS for ISIS in Demotic. American Revolution, well, the same old story. The people wanted to break loose from the old world's order, feudal king on the other side of the Atlantic. So the Templar, New World's Order, saw the opportunity to mobilize the people on their own behalf. Namely, to get rid of the king and the old world's order vertical rule. Which they did, basically, and then set up a Freemason New World Order state after Templar model in 1776. So, they got rid of the king in the Americas, but not entirely of the people's power yet. So they played them out against each other in a bloody civil war with 300,000 Americans dead a few years later, from 1841 to 1845, I think it was. And just as in Auschwitz, Swiss German was spoken by Commandant Rudolf Huss. In the US Civil War, there were Swiss-led concentration camps, where Swiss German was spoken by Swiss Commandant Captain Henry Wirtz. That was Heinrich first in German. Killing, torturing and starving to death many Americans. See my films on my channels. Gyuri and Hatzefratz for that. Today, however, there are no more problems between the old world's order and the new world's order, except for a very few hardcore royalists. So we might as well call the NWO the Nobility World Order. Only the people's urge for self rule through the various nationalisms, still bothers our masters. And as they know that for nationalism, you need a national identity. Now that's why they're mixing it all up now through massive immigration. So, when after the Gulf War, when I replied for a political asylum in France at the Ofbra in Paris, they told me that I wasn't black enough. That's why they call it a political asylum, I guess. Switzerland was founded by the Knights Templars and their New World Order in 1291, two and a half months after the end of the Crusades, being therefore that the Swissies say, we are the oldest democracy in the world, being the first New World Order in history. Swissie also says, we have no army, we are an army. Because what you see here is a real Templar's militia, with all men owning their own guns, which they keep at home. Even today, having a full auto 223 cal assault rifle under the bed. Still drinking your coffee, eh, Swissy, in the middle of the First World War, eh? Your time is up, Swissy. You can put your hand under your jacket, eh, you Freemason there. The right hand, because the right hand you kill, or you, you write something. I know who you are. It's a New World Order sign. 